Hi guys, my name is Connie and I am doing a series of Webflow lessons in partnership with Webflow University Lessons. We're not affiliated, but their lessons are really good and I definitely recommend checking them out before working on the lessons and tutorials with me. Well, today we'll be learning how to create sliders and slides. So this is the first slide and what we'll be learning is to create the background, a gray overlay um, and the content inside and it should slide to a, a new image. So that's what we'll be working on. So the first things first, please watch the slider video because it will definitely give you all the more details. We'll give you more information, more details of the anatomy of a slider, which I'm not going to get into today. I just want to work on the lesson or the mini project. So let's get started. And we are going to first if you're interested in creating these, check out my other videos because this is the tutorial on how to do the light box and this is how to do a tutorial on a form. But today we're gonna work on sliders. So we're gonna start off by adding a slider. So control E and add a slider, S -O -I -E. Okay, and make sure the slider is not within a container because we will not be able to add the content inside because that's inside a container and you can't have a container within a container. So we're gonna take the slider out of this container and let me add it right above. So let me give it some spacing so it doesn't disturb our work. Okay, so to start off with the slider, we're gonna adjust the height to approximately 500 pixels, just so it's a little bit bigger and we can see it. So within the slider, we're going to start off by adding the image. So let me show you how to how to add the image on the right hand side. So make sure you're selecting slide. So open them up and make sure you're sliding slide number one, because if you add the image onto slide number four, it's going to apply that image to all the slides, which we don't want. So open it up and make sure to be on slide number one. And down here under backgrounds, we're going to add an image. I have a link to the slide tutorial from Webflow and a folder for all these images that I'm gonna be using. So select on this hazy gray sand and we're going to make sure it's on cover so we can see the full image. And now click out of it. And now we're going to be adding the contents inside the slide. So click Control E or drag and drop a container, and then add a heading, and add a paragraph, and add a button. This is what we're going to be using for today. You can style it however you like, but this is what we're going to be going with today. So within this container, we're going to center the information, the center of the image, and this is how we do it. So make sure you have container selected and we're going to expand the size of the container so it fills the whole slide so we can center it. So make the height 100%. No, 100%. Now it fills up the whole thing. And in display, we want it to be vertical, aligned to the left, and in justify, we want it in the center. Now we're gonna give this a little padding so it's not too close to the arrows, approximately 97 all around. So hold shift while dragging it. And we're gonna create, since we're gonna have a gray background, we're gonna make the text white. So still under container, we want to scroll down to typography, change it white, and that will change everything within the container white. Perfect. So now we're going to be adding the gray in the background. So you want to select slide four, go back to backgrounds and add, click on the fourth box to the right, or the first box to the right and click color overlay. So now I wanna 
give a little tip here because I definitely messed up on this a couple times. Um, as you can see on the right hand side, the overlay is on top. If you were to drag that below, it's not going to show. So you want to make sure they're separate. That's why we added the background first and then added the overlay on top. If you were to change this to also have the overlay, you're not going to see anything. So you don't want to do that. Now I messed this up. Let me fix this real quick. All right, perfect. I got it all fixed up. If, if you do happen to accidentally do that, no worries. Just hit the trash can and delete it and then just add it again. Now I'm going to take that out. So now we have our first slide. And as you can see, you can preview it um, by adding the slide directly in. It's going to expand the whole way. So this is what it looks like. And this is our slide number two. So the next thing that we're going to do is create our slide number two and transfer our content over to slide number two without having to redo everything that we just did. So how we're going to do that is by first going on to, so this container is called container 11. So we're going to remember that name. You can name it how, whatever you'd like because we're going to just transfer it over. But now we're going to go on to slide number slider. And then at the gear, you want to move on to the next slide. And we're going to simply do the same thing and just replace the background. So right now it's on selected on slide number two and not the slider. You want to go back to the design and add your background. I believe choose image, plants, cover. Um, can we change the position? Yeah, you can change the position of the image. So if it's really large, the slide will cut out the rest of the background. If, if you want to change the position of it, if you want more um, image of the product, you can change the position here. Okay, and then now we can add that overlay. And we also want to add 11. Wait, that's not what we want. One sec. Okay, so all you have to do is select your, on the left hand side on the navigator, you want to control copy your container 11 or whatever you decide to name it. Select on slide five and control V to paste it. And there you have it. Everything's perfectly formatted exactly the way it was before. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Oops. Yeah, there's only two slides. You can definitely add more slides, but that wraps up the tutorial on how to use slides. I hope this was a small, fun project. I'm doing a series of these. I'm learning on the way, so hopefully we can learn together. If you find this helpful, please let me know because it definitely brings a smile to my face. All right. Thank you. I hope you have a nice day.